Marlin here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I am doing a little bit of a car chit chat and I have no earthly idea what I'm going to talk about, you guys. Uh, I'm following Chris and we're on our way to Arby's for our Monday lunch. That's usually where we go hang on it's usually where we go on Mondays for lunch uh, we go to Longhorn Tuesdays through Friday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and we do Arby's two of the weekend days and then and a Chinese place one of the other days so uh, we only limit ourselves to the Chinese place because of all the salt in the food you know so but anyway, we're going to Arby's today and then I'm going to get my nails done because goodness knows they are growing off the edge of my fingers. They are a mess. I haven't had them done in about three and a half weeks before we left for our trip and they are a mess. I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. Uh, we are headed to Stacy's house this weekend to celebrate Easter with the family. So, uh, you know, something... I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure what I'll do something probably with little flowers on it again like this because I really love this look but uh, maybe a little darker maybe a red or a pinky red or something like that just something you know pretty <laughs> goodness knows so uh but I wanted to come on and tell you yesterday we went to visit the kids and we had a blast with Maverick we had not seen Maverick since before we left for our trip and uh, then we gave ourselves a week you know being home as you know I had a cold and so it was not COVID no no just just a generic old cold and I'm well over that now in fact it was I would say a mild cold I wasn't I mean when I did my uh my cruise report, you know, I was, that was like my third day and y'all know I wasn't, I didn't feel that bad that day. So it wasn't, it wasn't a horrible cold, but I didn't want to, you know, spread my germs. So we waited and Chris never got it. So he was lucky. Um, so I'm not sure why we're stopped. Oh, I see there's a car coming. Uh, but we went there yesterday, had a blast with Maverick, of course, and I'm showing you some pictures here as we uh, you know, he, he is such a, a joyful, such a joyful little child. He really, 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 really is. I mean, he is, he's just my heart, you guys. And I'm, I, so, I'm so grateful to have that little tyke in our, in our lives right now. Um, he brings so much joy to us and so much love to us. He's just so sweet. You know, he's just so sweet. I'm going to turn my seat on. It is chilly. Willie, it's 43 degrees here in Fredericksburg today. Is it spring? I think it is. And I don't know whether you'll be able to see <clears throat> out the windows or anything. Uh, it is, we have everything in bloom around here. The cherry trees are right about at peak right now up in Washington, D.C., which is about 50, 55 miles north of us. And they are definitely at peak here. Dogwoods will be coming out soon. Bradford pears are out. I mean, it is it is everything is in bloom it's beautiful around here right now and soon we'll have green leaves back on the trees and i love that i absolutely love that i can't wait till we get our green leaves back on the trees i really do suffer from that seasonal affective disorder or whatever it is I, you know that's why we cruise in the winter time uh, a good bit because i really do i really do get bothered but when i don't when i see these naked trees and lots of cloudy and yucky days and uh apparently we did get snow when we were off on our panama canal cruise but uh we um haven't seen any chris and i haven't seen any uh this year which is okay you know uh, but anyway so i'm off to get my nails did <clears throat> and my outfit of the day is old 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 oh my goodness this this top i've had and it is a little bit large on me and the sweater I got uh, I don't know a while back to probably last spring and I just have a pair of jean jeggings on let me get out of here and my uh, this red top with a little bit of lace on the edges and it's a tank top so it has lace on the 
on the top of it. If it's available, I'll put it in my fashion shop. Sweater may still be available, and my little red fever sole shoes are definitely available. So I'll put them, I think they're already in my fashion shop. So nothing, nothing new, my little Brighton uh, necklace and earrings and the same jewelry. So didn't do any kind of really dressing up, really didn't realize I would be doing this little car chit chat, honestly. <laughs> so I kind of, this is, this is me on just an everyday regular day, you know? Uh, but I really don't have a lot more to talk to you about. Somebody asked me to compare Holland America to Princess Cruises. So I guess I could touch on that for just a minute. Uh, I, you know, I, I know that only some of you here on my Country Craft Corner are also, you know, cruisers. So I don't want to bore you here on this channel too much with that. But I will just say, uh, Holland America it, it, it is beautiful. They have beautiful ships. Their ships are in fantastic shape. Their crew is sweet. Uh, the, the venues are nice. Uh, the food is fabulous. I would say that compared to Princess, their food is probably a click up above Princess a little bit. But I have to be honest and say that Princess feels like home to me. You know, and that probably is just because we've cruised on Princess more than we've cruised on Holland America. We've only done two Holland America cruises. Princess cruises, we've done upwards of 30, you know. So since way back in 2007, we've been cruising, a, you know, for a long time, you guys. We are in our 60s now. <laughs> so, and when Chris retired, he budgeted us, you know, two cruises a year. Budgeted the money in so that we could do two cruises a year. And so we're going to be doing three this year, honestly. So I, it's, um, I, I would say that I prefer Princess, uh, and I, and I, and it's really not a, a distinguishable, this is why, you know, I prefer Princess other than I like their ships a little bit better. I know my way around their ships a little bit better and so on like that, you know, so. I, I, it's, it's a very small difference in my mind between the two cruise lines, other than for me, Princess feels like home, you know, so, um, and anyway, another thing I did want to touch on is, and, and I, and I don't want you guys, I hope that this does not upset any of you guys or worry any of you guys, because I don't want you to worry or be upset for me. Uh, also hope that you are, are, will give me grace as I speak about this, because I know I've, I've kind of spoken about this a little bit. Um, but when I, I'll preface this by saying when Chris and I went over to Kristen's school, our daughter who passed away in November of natural causes, um, and we took all the school supplies that she had in her place over to her elementary school and we donated it to the elementary school and she had a plethora of stuff you guys her life was her school you know and she had so much stuff so we went in there but anyway the counselor whispered in Chris's ear while we were there and said uh, just just get ready you know when you hit the three to four month mark you know that's when the grief might be might, might bubble up to the surface a little bit again and y'all I have to be honest since we have been home from our this second cruise that we did this year you know that the surprise cruise that we just did on Holland I've been struggling I've been really 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 struggling and every day you know, and I've said this before, but when you wake up in the morning and you know, everything is butterflies and sunshine and, 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 and rainbows and unicorns, what is it that they say, you know, everything's wonderful and oh, I'm gonna have a good day. And then you remember, you know, I remember that we lost our daughter and I remember everything that went along with that. And it lands on my shoulders like a, like a 500 pound weight, you know, and I know that everybody grieves differently and I know that some of you would probably say, gee whiz Arlen, she's been gone since November. You know, come on, move on, you know, and I am moving on, you guys. I am moving on each day. I try to to move forward and to put one foot in front of the other and I try to only remember the good things and only remember the sweet things and only remember the, you know, I, 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 
you know, I don't want to remember the day we found her and then that kind of thing because that memory will never leave, you know? It is ingrained in my being, you know? So I just wanted to touch on that, that if you see a little quietness in my eyes, a lot of you say you see the brightness come back to my eyes when I smile. I'm able to smile again. Thank goodness. You know, I'm able to, and I'm sorry to say this, but when you put a smile on your face, it does make you feel better. You know, it doesn't only just make other people feel better. It makes your, you know, you feel better. And I try to, to push the grief, you know, back. I mean, I let it flow. I let the tears go. You guys, I let it come. I let it wash over me, but it's like I'm in a, in a wash tub is the best way I can describe it. And I'm, and I'm being, you know, um, mixed up a little bit, you know, and, and, and thrown back and forth and in and out of, of grief. And then, okay, I feel a little bit better right now. And no, I feel really bad right now. And oh my goodness, I, I feel a little bit better. I think I can do this or I can do that. But oh man, you know, then the next minute I'm feeling a little bit bad again. So, I just wanted to mention this to you guys kind of here in a, in a more casual setting. And when I'm not doing a tray design, which I'm fixing to do later in the week, by the way, I also have, um, I have a tray design. I have an Amazon haul and I have a, a Clinique haul to bring to you. So I'll bring you that later in the week here. I don't know whether, hopefully I'm going to get this up by, by Monday evening. So, but I did want to mention that to you because I am struggling a little bit. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop my YouTube at all. I love my YouTube channel, uh, you know, absolutely. But a lot of you mentioned that you see a sadness in my eyes some days or you see a brightness in my eyes some days. And, and I just wanted to mention this to you just to let you know that if you see the sadness, it's normal. It's what I'm, it's what I'm going through right now. It's what I'm, I'm processing. I'm processing the grief and talking about it to you guys, to Chris, to Candace, to Stacy, and my other family members, to my dad, you know, that's how I process. That's how I process this grief, you guys. It is overwhelming for a parent to lose their child. It is just, it is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely the worst thing that has ever happened in our lives. I don't think there could be anything worse. You know, I just don't think there could be, you know? So anyway, I just wanted to touch on that, you guys, because I don't want you to worry. Uh, and I know you guys are so loving, you guys. And, and also, I wanted to take this moment to thank you once again. Uh, the, the love, the prayers, the hugs, the grace, the... Uh, everything that you guys give me in every video it comes to me so freely you give it so freely and so easily and I thank you guys so much for that oh my god it's an ugly cry sorry <laughs> but I thank you guys so much because it's without all of you and everybody else I named, I could not traverse through this. I just couldn't. It's too hard. So thank you guys so much. I'm sure people are looking at me around the cars going, what is wrong with that woman? <laughs> and who is she dogging to? But anyway, thank you guys. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. From my heart, I thank you. <clears throat> anyway, I did... Felt, I felt like it was important to touch on that, you guys, because you guys know me so well, and you know I I I wear my heart on my sleeve. You all know that all the time. I I am not one to um I'm I'm not a very good faker. You know, I am real. I am who you see. You know, I hear so many other people say, "Oh, those YouTubers, they're so fake." Blah 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 blah. They they have this charmed life or whatever. <laughs> Obviously not obviously not. And, uh, you know, I've always presented myself since 2016. I've had my, my channel open since 2016, y'all. And I've always presented myself in, a, in as real of a way as I possibly can. And, you know, if I didn't, 
you all would catch on to that quicker than anything. They always tell you, you know, you, you can't tell lies because you'll get caught in your lies, you know? You can't remember all your lies. You can remember truth and you can remember what's happened in your life, you know what I mean? And uh, so anyway, I'm rambling. What's new? We are almost Arby's. <clears throat> I'll be getting a classic roast beef, sans the bread, <laughs> hold the bread. And uh, then I will eat a few curly fries too, because I get, uh, Chris gets the two for six fish sandwiches and we share a, a, a order of curly fries. And I get the roast beef, just the beef, you know, and that's what I get. That's what I get. So we are turning in here in just a minute. So I will be back to chat with you some more, either before or after I go in and get my nails or probably both, maybe both after I get my nails done. And um, we'll chat about some more stuff. I'm not sure what. Maybe I'll check my, my phone and see if I have any questions kind of out there. Although I've already talked 16 minutes, <laughs> you know. And I do want to show you my nails and I may, may show you some footage of me getting them done, you know, just to music or something. So anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks for listening, you guys, as always. <laughs> Thanks for listening. everybody I'm back from getting my from eating lunch I didn't come back between lunch and my nails because I'm literally like five minutes away or two minutes away from Arby's to where I get my nails done so I just came out from getting my nails done and as you saw I think I'm hopefully if my footage showed you know worked out I was able to show you uh, a little bit of the process that Van uses I today I decided my phone is just barely up there sorry today I decided to go back to my pink and whites and she did a fabulous job she just go right ahead pull, pull out in front of me I don't care you know <laughs> tell your people take advantage of you sometimes uh, but anyway she did uh, a beautiful job as you can see here if I can get it to focus and she just used one little sticker and it's a pink sticker just right there on my on my ring finger and I absolutely love them they turned out beautiful just turned out beautifully so she does such a wonderful job such a wonderful job and it takes her a little longer and it cost me a little bit more money to get the pink or the whites filled like that uh, usually well I, I only when I got this set I only got the pink and white like this one time the first time I had them put on and then from then on I've just been doing color which is cheaper with a little bit of a sticker or something you guys have seen it through the months here and today's fill cost me $50 now I will say that it cost me $50 and like I said she cut them down which costs money she filled the the whites which costs extra money and then she used a cup just a couple of stickers so uh but it's worth it to me $50 
or less a month to have my, because I get them done about every three and a half weeks. So it's really once a month I get my nails done, just once a month. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Plus I've gone to every six weeks to get my hair done. So really I'm say I used to go every four weeks to get my hair done. But since I've gone blonder, I've been able to stretch that out to every six weeks because you really can't see the delineation line as much as when my hair was darker. So when all is said and done for my beauty in a month, you know, or every couple months, I spend about $150, you know, to maintain this stuff. <laughs> you know what? And that's, or, or, or more, depending on if I get blonde highlights put in or what I have done, like today, it cost me more. Usually it costs me about $45 for my nails, but it's worth it to me. And, and again, I make my own little bit of money. And even if I didn't, Chris would not, deny me from getting you know we, we he doesn't he doesn't say what money gets spent or not we we do it as a team we we always make our decisions as a team it's not like he controls the money or i control the money or anything like that we work as a team and but he has always said absolutely do whatever you need to do to help yourself feel better you know within reason y'all i'm not going to go out and spend millions of dollars to go and get whateverness done you know but uh for my little bit of maintenance here that i do it's worth it to me to go to a hair stylist to have somebody else work on my hair, trim it, and color it, and do all the things to it, because I don't trust myself to do it. And then, as you know, I did Color Street Nails for a long time, uh, during all through COVID, and then even for a year or two, or year or so after COVID, I kept doing them. And I love them, and I like the changes and stuff, but it was more, it became a, a burden to me to, uh, to, you know switch out my nails all the time and for me to do them and me to keep them filed and, and 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 I'm sorry maybe I'm lazy I'm really not I'm not a lazy person but you know it's just worth it to me to go and have somebody else do my nails and they will look like this until I go back to get them done I know you know I really appreciate Sandy my hairstylist and Van my nail stylist uh, I love both of those ladies I've I, I feel like I have really settled into some of the best stylist I've ever had. Billy, of course, as you all, y'all know, Billy, that you've been with me, uh, bless her heart. She's gone back to Although school. She was she's a fabulous family. colorist, a fabulous hairstylist. I went to her for since 2002, y'all. And just about a year ago, I started going to Sandy, who is a fabulous colorist and a fabulous hair, uh, you know, uh, stylist. And she trims me up so beautifully. And I just, I feel lucky. I feel lucky that I have, I had Billy and I have Sandy and now Van in my life. And I, I just feel very fortunate to be able to, to have these ladies who take such care of me, you know? And, um, anyway, so that's my nails for this, for the next, you know, three weeks or so. You, that's what you'll see. I don't go again until April 17th, I think, because I just made my appointment. So, and that's it. I'm going to go home and it is 1.30 right now. So I'm going to go home and see if I can get this added in and get it put up. I did not have a chance to check for questions. So I really don't know what other questions I had, if any. Uh, so I'm just going to stop this, I guess, here. And oh, I have somebody pulling out in front of me again. Gee whiz. Tell you. Um, Chris said that he was at home with his... Uh, leaf blower. I don't know what he's blowing, but uh, he has been busily about in the yard. And our camellia, by the way, is blooming. I'll see if I can't take a picture of that as I'm walking in the house for you guys, and I'll put it at the end here. Uh, but it, from the kitchen window anyway, it is looking beautiful. I don't know what it looks like from the other side, but it is huge and it is beautiful. And um, let me take a moment to thank you again for listening to my uh, my little grief talk there uh, and and about how it's coming at me and I feel like I'm in a washing machine and you know a, a wave after wave of the grief continues to come and I thank you again for your patience I thank you guys so much you guys are so absolutely wonderful and I don't know what I would do without y'all I really just don't know what I would do without y'all um, I'm not gonna cry again <laughs> Coming up later this week, as I said, I do have a, uh, 
uh, Amazon, small Amazon haul, only to haul what I'm gonna be working with when I do that tray design with that big base. I'll bring you that tray design and the Amazon haul and a couple of other things from Amazon that I've picked up. And then I have a Clinique haul that I wanna that I want to bring to you. So I've got those coming at you. That's one video. And then I'm actually making Death by Chocolate. It is a dessert that I'm gonna make it in a trifle dish. And I haven't done any cooking on uh, my channel in a while. So I thought, well, I haven't made that in 20 years at least. It's a very old recipe of mine and I'm sure everybody has made it. Or, uh, But I am gonna do that on camera, probably Friday I'll bring that. So probably I'll come back maybe when Tuesday or Wednesday with the, uh, with the haul and the tray design and then probably Friday with the Death by Chocolate recipe. How about that? Woohoo! Then next week I have no idea. have no clue, absolutely no clue what I'm going to be doing next week. I really don't have any ideas. If y'all have any ideas for some videos, let me know what you'd like to see or if you have questions, you know, give me some questions to answer and because uh, we're right kind of in the middle of a of any kind of decorating series and I, I just don't have anything planned really coming up to decorate so let me know if there's something else y'all would like to see or hear me talk about all right okay so let me go into my final words and say I don't know that I can get through these <laughs> my emotions are right here y'all hmm. <sighs> thanks again for stopping in here today I hope all is well with everyone For those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits. I'm going around a corner here. Sorry. <laughs> hugs all around and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day and with all that said I'll just say until next time y'all take good good care bye-bye